Hey guys, welcome back to the Pursuit of the Nightly Arts. My name is Reese Nelson. Ben Bruce. And today we have a special guest with us today. Hi, I'm Bob Charette of Forteza Historical Swordwork Guild. And Bob is out here today uh, helping us with some feeling drills, or fueling. So Bob, what are we doing today? We're doing... Sticks! Say hello to Mr. Stick. Hello Mr. Stick. Hello Mr. Stick. <laughs> going back to the basics. So, what exercise are we doing? We're going to work on uh, ways to develop feeling for fighting in the harness using uh, a weapon in the wide space grip, as you gentlemen have just naturally adopted. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to look primarily at a crossing uh, in the middle between the hands yep. and uh, how to get more sensitive to the pressures that you'll feel and such. And we'll go through this in a series of steps. Um, right now you both adopted the same grip and we'll be using that grip through the drills but there are other grips as well uh, and uh, for training purposes you want to practice th these drills with all of those grips. Alright, okay, sounds great. Well, uh, so, are you guys up for that? Yeah, we'll sure. Well, Let's then go get harnessed. Alright, sounds good. Go, go, we'll go, go get harnessed. Oh. <laughs> so, we're going to uh, start the exercise uh, with a, a grip on the swords as if we were holding it uh, at half sword. So, there are several different ways you can hold a sword at half sword, and we're going to start with this one with our hands in the same orientation, thumbs toward the center. And the, there are a number of ways you can do this uh, set of drills with different degrees of freedom. We're going to start with our uh, feet in uh, the opposite stances, so we'll each have the same leg forward. We're going to start with contact already between the hands. You can do other variations on it, but the between is what uh, we will begin with. Uh, for the start, I am going to perform as the leader for the uh, this part of the exercise. And I will be attempting to move the, the stick around so that I can bring one end or the other in to touch Ben. While he, what he will be doing is to move his stick to maintain the, the pressure and the distance of the ends of my sticks without moving his feet to start. So we wanted to mention real quick that we're using sticks for this drill to remove all the elements of the sword and focus on using feeling to prevent the opponent's attacks and gain the advantage while striking. Bob pointed out that most people get caught up with striking with the point of the sword when both ends of the weapon are viable in the system, being employed for locking and leveraging your opponent. So before we uh, add movement to the, the uh, drill, I would like to say a little thing about uh, different grips on the sword. Uh, we started with this grip, but a very common grip is also with the uh, left hand uh, turned around so the thumbs are both pointed to the same side. Uh, so you can go through exactly what we did with this grip. 
You can also go through with this grip, which in my tradition, on Rizari, uh, is developing from holding the sword on the blade for a position called uh, Sagittarius, uh, archer's position. Uh, it leads to very specialized actions in the fight. And uh, we won't go into that too much because it's going to divert, divert us a little from the, the lesson of this feeling. But you should try all the various grips to, to start understanding how your grip changes the subtleties of how you have to move. So for the, the second phase of developing this feeling exercise, uh, I, we're going to allow Ben, as the student, to uh, move when he tries to counter an action that I make as the leader. So I will not be stepping in this phase, but Ben is allowed to now, if he thinks that will improve his structure, to uh, stop my motion uh, as I try to contact him. But we're going to use the same grip we did before to keep it simple. Come together. Now. So you're allowed to step as you will to block. Ready? So that's a very simple and effective demonstration of how his stepping makes the job much easier for him to counter yeah. my actions. Would you say so, Ben? Yes. As <clears throat> soon yeah. as I get my hips in line. Well, it gives you much stronger structure when you do that, certainly. Yes. But it gives you more options if you feel you're not quite going to make it in time. Yeah. You take your body away. Yes. So uh, the next step in this same progression that we're doing is to allow the leader to step as well. And uh, that should restore a little bit of parity. So, we come to our cross, and now this time I get to step as well. So you can see that adds a lot more dynamism to it. We ramped up the speed a little bit because I've had a chance to play with Ben and get a feeling for what level he's bringing this to. Uh, you should always pay attention to what your partner is doing. Uh, it's amazing how much energy this drill actually takes as opposed to about. Uh, you have a lot of concentration. <laughs> yeah, well you're using your brain and that's engaging all kinds of things, Ben. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do at this point more of the... Uh, Full motion, uh, Ben as the student and me as the leader. Ready, Ben? Ready. Good. Let's go. Go back to the center. <laughs> there we go. Good. Okay, what, what happened here is one of the techniques that we can advance to. Instead of going for a typical strike target, I went to start to create a bind by putting the point over the arm and using the sword as a, a leverage point to come down into that. So I can really bind Ben up it. pretty well in here. Press it. Unless he lets go of his, uh, with his hand. Go ahead and give me some pressure, Bob. Right? I can even take him to the ground if I just press into him. So, so far we've, we've gone through with me 
in no harness and Ben wearing far more steel uh, but his hands and head are uncovered. So to get more vigorous uh, in this you'll really want the hand and head protection. So we're going to uh, move to that with uh, Reese and Ben both harnessing up. Now the guys have put on their helmets and gauntlets because we're going to allow more contact in this uh, set. We're going to go through the sequences again as we just did but with a little more vigor. Uh, and we still want to see smooth motion and a good flow because that's what we're training today, not the ability to speed up and shoot in. We're, we're working to get our flow really well. So we want to move in such a way that the uh, end of uh, Mr. Stick here gets uh, into a target zone and use minimal effort to be able to change that into a strike. All in the simple, smooth, flowing motion. So we've gone through a sequence of this drill building up the motion and the intensity. Uh, you should go through the, all of those with the different hand grips. And you can do it uh, with longer sticks to get you closer to using the other wide space grip weapons like spear and axe. Uh, perhaps these guys will uh, show you some of that in another video. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so now that we've done it, guys. Uh, what, what were your impressions of it, Bruce? Uh, my shoulders are burning and I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. Uh, I did find uh, that moment in there when I was uh, taking it nice and easy. I, uh, I could feel this wave and it felt like I could just ride the wave. And then as soon as I pressed it over, my point went right on line and right to target. And uh, I had zero effort when that happened. Uh, so I see uh, the benefit to conserve energy in a fight, for sure. Yeah, it was, it was very eye-opening uh, for me the same effect but uh, it was uh, very interesting when we started to add movement to it or I started to get in a position where I was striking and he essentially just moved my point right to where I wanted it I just timed it well enough to work to mm -hmm. guide right in there so that's pretty cool I have to experiment with that more so. and, and you were able to feel that through the web the stick yeah against your other Person stick mm -hmm. and you know, as Ben says, find that way yeah. and ride it. I guess you guys are surfer dudes now. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the hair for it. So. Okay, so you know, once you once you guys get down pat doing all these uh, variations on it, go through the whole thing again blindfold. Okay, we'll do that in a future video. Blindfold. <laughs> what do you guys think? Awesome. And I want to thank Grace uh, and Ben for inviting me out here to uh, be part of this effort. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Have you. If you guys like what you see, uh, give us a share and a like in the video and expect to have more. And soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.